Simpson's paradox in statistics uh, refer to contradicting views of data. For example, uh, when you have trends appearing in different groups of data, like this one, unaggregated scatter plot of groups of data that is sub showing a bunch of subgroups, versus this one that is an aggregated plot of, of the same data. Now here is you're seeing you're, you're seeing a positive relation. Over here you can see as if there is negative relation, a negative correlation. Um, so basically, it means that uh, whatever trend you're seeing in the uh, different groups of data either disappear or even reverse uh, when you have the groups of data combined. Back in 2016, as an example, there were some articles in, in Italy saying it, some Italian researchers say pasta isn't fattening. And uh, similar articles in 2016 were saying pasta leads to lower BMI, which generally speaking is counterintuitive. When you look at this unaggregated scatter plot, each dot represents a person that was part of the survey. X-axis is pasta intake kilocalorie per day, and Y-axis is body mass index. There are four group categories that are shown here. The highest group band, uh, in, in the, uh, there are weight categories. The highest weight category range or band is shown in orange, and the lowest uh, weight band uh, is shown in green. You can see when you focus on it in a specific uh, set of people uh, in a specific weight band, then you can see that as if there is a negative correlation, as if when the pasta intake per day goes higher, the BMI goes lower, um, which is interesting and sort of counterintuitive. When you look at the overall data, now you see that that is not the case when um, when you are dealing with more pasta intake on average, then you end up with, on average, higher body mass index, which is something that is intuitively expected. So in this case, uh, it's a reminder that, hey, when you look at aggregated and aggregated data, you will see different trends. And the most important message about it is you should not just be focused on one. You need to understand which one is saying what. In this case, the message is in Italy, uh, in uh, where um, eating pasta usually comes with um, good appetizers, let's say veggies with olive oil, those are better replacement for fatty foods like fries and fried chicken. So when a person in a specific weight category or weight band is, is going to, on average, when a person has higher pasta intake per day, on average it means um, that person has less of those uh, very fatty food. Uh, so they are, that person is basically replacing the very fatty food with more pasta intake. So that's the reason, um, one of the better explanations that why you see uh, something like this when you focus on a specific weight bands. Um, and uh, this is a, just a reminder that in order to avoid this sort of misconception or paradox, it's important that before drawing a conclusion, we better investigate whether the aggregated or unaggregated form of the cross tabulation or scatter plotting provides a better insight and con conclusion. So you would see this view either in the scatter plot as is shown here or in the cross tabulation of the data. I hope that this is a good illustration of Simpson's paradox and why it happens and how we can avoid it.